Hey guys, it is currently Tuesday, January 26th, and I'm uploading these vlogs kind of out of order, but whatever. I spent a couple days filming myself making that red bubble puzzle that I got, and so it's done, and that'll be the next video. But for today, I'm gonna work on a bit of diamond painting. I'm gonna try a big push to get this thing done, just because I hate how it's kind of lingering. I just, I wanna get it done. Prepare for a lot of diamond painting footage this week. <laughs> If I can get her done by the end of this weekend, that would be great. Especially since store stuff is picking up again and, you know, I just kind of want to move on to other projects. One of my enamel pins I reordered is actually shipped and on its way. I didn't think it would be done this quickly. Usually it takes a full month for production, but they got it done in just over two weeks. Maybe they're just making a big push before Chinese New Year. I don't know, but I'm just like, whoo, that was fast. <laughs> Let's get started with that diamond painting footage. I'm going to talk throughout this but we'll we'll just have the diamond painting footage in the background so i got this tweet yesterday saying hey you never properly addressed the judy situation and my first thought was what i've talked about her so many times but then i realized i've talked about her mostly by replying to people's comments and by talking about it in live streams and live streams get auto deleted every 60 days so there's no like proper record of the things that i've said so for those unfamiliar with Judy, she was this little keychain doll that I would show in my vlogs back in the very early days. It was about the first year or so of my vlog, so that would have been around 2013, 2014. She was a little keychain my dad got me from Mexico, like a little voodoo doll type thing. I think that's what people call them. I don't know. I just thought she was cute, had this doll, and I started featuring her in my videos. And the gag was that she was my assistant and I would get her to do things for me or like let's say I wanted to show someone a clip I'd be like Judy roll that clip and there'd be a shot of her clicking my mouse to play the clip little stuff like that I was even getting fan art of Judy because I had a P.O. box back at the time and you know she she pretty much was the mascot of my channel I got a comment one day from someone saying something along the lines of you know Judy's a racist caricature of a black person I don't think it's a good idea that you show her stuff like that and my immediate reaction was to get super defensive over it I just thought she was some kind of abstract cartoony thing because I was a dumbass and didn't know <laughs> so she was this little keychain a little chibi style you know big head she had this flaming red troll type hair she had she was pure black like her skin was solid black and then she had the big round lips she had the these circles of felt for eyes with little black beads in the middle and hoop earrings and then thread wrapped around as like a dress of sorts on her this person brings this to my attention and i get all defensive over her because she was so like near and dear to my heart at the time like my cute little mascot so i make this video being like is judy racist and I was, you know, pointing out things like, oh, she has hoop earrings. Like, how is, is that racist to have hoop earrings? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I, it's hard to even talk about this without cringing at my past self. I was so defensive because one, I was stupid. Two, I really loved her at the time. And three, this was the first person to bring anything up after having my channel for over a year. I was like, oh, maybe this person's just being too overly sensitive. Maybe they don't know what they're talking about. So I was kind of just brushing it off. But then after making that video being like, is Judy racist? People were like, yeah, actually. And I just didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to ruffle any feathers, but like look up this and this and this and you'll see. And so I was like, okay, Judy needs a makeover. Like I don't want to get rid of her. So let's just change her appearance. So I did stuff like painting her skin brown, gave her a new outfit, whatever. I just gave her this makeover. And I'm like, yay, new and improved Judy. And people were like, you know, like it's still just, like it's still racist. She still had the round lips, you know, and the, the big googly style eyes. And so people were like, you know, you probably just shouldn't show her at all. <laughs> and again, I get all defensive. I was like, what? Like I, you know, I went and made all these changes and people still aren't happy. <laughs> I just ended up being fed up with the whole ordeal, kind of just shoved her aside, threw her in a drawer, and she was never seen in the vlogs again. But she still haunts me to this day, especially you know, now that I've learned more things about the world, I'm like not as stupid and ignorant as I was back then. Like knowing what I know now, I look back at her and I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I ever showed her in the first place. And it's even worse that like once people brought it to my attention, I got super defensive over it. I remember it was around that time also, it was the first time someone ever told me I had white privilege and I was all like, oh, what? 
like without even researching into it at all, just immediately went on the defensive. In a sense, I think it was a great learning experience. Like the longer I'm on the internet, the more things I learn, the more experiences I hear about that are different from mine. And a big takeaway from this is if someone tells you something like, oh, that's racist, listen to them, look into it more. And if you try to fix something and they still say it's not good enough, again, listen. <laughs> Every once in a while, someone shows up in my live stream and says, oh, I miss Judy, bring Judy back. And I'm like, no. First of all, I don't even have her anymore. She sat in a drawer for years. And then one day I was decluttering, found her at the back of that drawer, tossed her out. So she is long gone. But knowing what I know now, she would never make a comeback. Even if I still had her, I would never get another doll that looks like that. She ain't, com she's not coming back. <laughs> my current self looks back in absolute horror at the whole thing, like, I'm so sorry I ever showed her in the first place and I'm extremely sorry that I got so defensive over it. And I especially want to apologize to anyone who felt uncomfortable or unwelcome on my channel because of Judy's presence. I feel like the longer I've been on the internet, the easier it has been for me to admit I'm wrong about something. And instead of immediately getting defensive, maybe stop, take a look at the bigger picture, look into things. A while back, I took down my Judy vlogs because she's offensive like she just is and i'm not comfortable having that up on my vlog channel anymore but if you if you come across a video where she is still in it and you think i should take it down let me know she made so many little appearances that i it would be impossible for me to catch them all so if you come across one you're like oh she should take this down just send me an email with a link or something and i'll do that for you I just feel like by leaving them up, it's perpetuating that it's okay to have a doll like that and parade her around and stuff like that. So, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's wrong. It's, it's not right. So, if you, yeah, if you come across one, let me know. One final thing, I think it's important to note that just because I didn't set out to offend people and didn't mean to offend people doesn't mean it wasn't offensive. Sometimes people have good intentions, but what they did was still wrong it doesn't excuse or justify the behavior. So just something to keep in mind. One of the, one of the lessons I learned. <laughs> so that is the life and death of Judy the doll. Abrupt change of topic. I intended for the voiceover to be the full voiceover for the diamond painting section, but I never realized how short it was till I edited it down and cut out all my pauses and stuff. So, uh, I don't really have anything else to give you. I sat here for 15 minutes trying to think of what else I could talk about for voiceover. I don't have anything for you right now, so I might just leave you with a little bit of music. This vlog is a little shorter than usual because of that, but you know, sometimes it just is. I did that diamond painting stuff for like eight hours. I didn't have anything else good to show you other than what you're about to see for the final bits of the vlog, but yeah. I mean, my ideal length for the vlogs now is minimum 15 minutes and I try to go no more than 25 if it goes longer than it just does but I feel like there's that sweet spot between 15 minutes and 25 minutes or just like hovering right around the 20 minute mark I think is like the best but 15 is my my absolute minimum and I don't even know if I'm gonna hit that for this one so this one will be a little bit shorter but the next one I do with the puzzle it's gonna be pretty long I had a lot to say and there's a lot of puzzle footage, so I guess the next one will be long. <laughs> Although it's not as much vlog style, it's going to be just the puzzle stuff, but I think it'll still be fun. The puzzle was a nice break from the diamond painting, but now I just got to get back. I got fin to finish this diamond painting, because then I can move on to other things and store stuff, so yeah. Oh, I said at the beginning of the vlog that my first batch of pins already shipped. I just got an email again this morning, the day that I'm editing this, saying that the next, the other batch has also just shipped. And I'm like, oh my God, I wasn't expecting these yet. So yes, get this diamond painting done and then I can go hard on the store stuff for the next store update. And maybe start an oil painting or something too. Anywho, enjoy the last bit of this diamond painting and then we'll get on to the rest of the vlog. <laughs>
Okay, my large chunk is done. That was about a third of this remaining bottom section. There is still a face too, so uh, yeah, we'll see if I reach my goal of by the end of the weekend. <laughs> I keep forgetting it's already Tuesday. I started the puzzle on Sunday, and so on Monday I was thinking it was still Sunday. And tomorrow I have a lot of errands and things to do. Need to do laundry, get groceries, go to the dentist, edit two vlogs, run to chit chats, and then if I have time in the evening, do some diamond painting. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know what to do with the rest of my evening. It's 8.22. More diamond painting? No. <laughs> so this may be a bit ambitious, but <laughs> I marked off this entire section from her waist and skirt down as being Thursday. <laughs> if I go from like early morning to late at night, it's probably doable. And maybe I can get a little bit of it done tomorrow evening too. And then for the Friday stream, do this chunk and extend the stream if I need to, to get that chunk done. Because there's the four hour creative block, right? So if it takes more than those four hours, just, you know, do what it takes to get that chunk done. And then Saturday. Do the face, which shouldn't be too, too bad. I mean, it's about the same size of a chunk as this. But by end of day Thursday, this. I'm tempted to just crawl into bed right now. <laughs> I did not get much rest last night. I mean, I wake up a billion times every night, but I just took forever to fall asleep last night. So I probably should crawl into bed a little early. Although I'm watching Dallas's live stream. I don't wanna miss him getting the shiny. He often goes till around midnight my time. <laughs> Just sleep with my earbuds in, listening to the stream. And if he reacts to the shiny, it'll wake me up. And then I'll be there. <laughs> Finally working on that DLC. Technically not even an Isle of Armor, but I'm leveling up a cub foo right now. I was super cozy down there, but there was one thing missing. A hot chocolate. So, <laughs> gonna make one for me and one for Christian. <laughs> I broke one of these new winter cups or the Christmas, the Christmas dishes that I got from Superstore. I was transferring two of them into my mug drawer and I dropped one of them. It fell like two inches. It just slipped out of my hand at the very end and hit a different mug and it smashed. The mug it hit is fine, but this one busted. I kept it so I can glue it together. Maybe use it as a decoration. I don't know, just turn it so you don't see the handle. Put a little plant in it, boom. Just do something with it. These are so cute. At least it was a mug and not one of the bowls or plates. Then I would have been real sad. I would have been real sad, Moosh. Oh, you're so cute. Christian can have this one. <gasps> Wait, how long has Marie been up there? I forgot about her. No dead bugs, okay. Oh my god, my nails. They're like the exact same shade of blue as this cup. Slightly desaturated, kind of dusty, baby blue. And this matches my shirt. Oh my god, oh. <laughs> Am I a fashion icon now? Am I just... <laughs> in my, in my freaking pushing dress. I'm a fashionista. Would be ecstatic. I mean, someone out there in the world would pay money for what I made, and that's a pretty high bar for me. Okay. Perfect. My piece does have the different layers of the eyes. The idea is that you have to look through all of these barriers. That's what we're after. The outer layer is covered in colored shards of broken glass. Okay. It is now bedtime. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. These circles are meant to be kind of like rocks. So I'm not gonna do them yellow like this cause these are the drips from this. I want it to be obvious that this is different. So it'll probably be the same color as the ground, which is blue, but just darker than the rest of the ground. So I can color over that for this initial section. I just need to decide which blue I'm starting